This is the, what the van looks like at the minute. Dusting a little bit. I don't think I've ever really dusted back here, so it's pretty gross, but. We start off nice, fresh and clean for our next road trip. A lot of this is gonna be just figuring out what we wanna keep, what we wanna get rid of, what's junk, what's trash. But there's a lot of treasure in here too that we don't wanna get rid of. Our friend Yoon forgot her chair here, so maybe we'll take that with us. Update is that the AC no longer works. It the which is interesting i never knew that this would cause a car to stall out but like the compressor belt or something was getting stuck and the car kept stalling out and then it started smoking so now we just can't turn our ac on or we'd have to pay a thousand dollars so it's gonna be a hot and wild summer <laughs> and one of the windows opens still like this which is actually not so big of a problem you know like i'm able to up and down it but uh, that one doesn't open at all. I think we could probably fix that though. Like if we watched five minutes on YouTube, yeah, yeah, this yeah, must yeah. be a way. Mm -hmm. But, oh, it's one thing, something being easy, but it's another thing actually doing it. And you know, we've had this thing for like a year now. And we still haven't fixed it. The problem's always been there. Maybe this is the year, you know, with the AC going out and stuff like that. Now's the time to really do what needs to be done. And here's this little uh, front compartment thing I built. Not my best thing I ever built, but it serves its function. It's got a little, hole that will hold cups of about that size holds this thing holds our cds it's definitely better than whatever was here before i wish i could like i don't know I, I there's some little changes i'd like to make to make it a little prettier and cleaner but it does what it's supposed to do no i love it i think you did an amazing job <laughs> tell them where we're going this summer we're going on a road trip we are going to our own wedding Right. <laughs> gotta, gotta make that one. That should be sick. Through to Michigan to go to Electric Forest. That's like this crazy, you know. We haven't really been to a festival together since we've been together because we it's been COVID time. So we haven't really, and we've been at the garden where it's like, you know, kind of low key lifestyle. So this is our honeymoon party summer. Yeah, it's time to get fucked up. We've been waiting all year, years now, and it's time to get fucked up together, look into each other's <laughs> eyes while dripping in sweat. <laughs> And, uh, you know, finding finding love in the dance and the movement. That's but, what the summer's all about. Yeah. And then we're gonna, you know, kick it back to our roots. Colorado Rainbow Gathering. <laughs> we are packing up this van to go to the Colorado 50th Anniversary Rainbow Gathering. Hell yeah. It is, so we've talked about Rainbow Gatherings in other videos. We met at one in Sweden, but actually the first one ever happened in the US 50 years ago in 1972. Uh, and Tabletop Mountain or something like that. That's, and we're getting ready for that, really. That's what we're doing, you know? We have to get this van all in tip-top shape for that whole three-month-long journey to go all these places. So we need to think about everything that we want to bring, what we don't want to bring, and clean it up, get it ready for the road again. Because, you know, like, we traveled a bit in this van, but we found out about the garden, and then all of a sudden pretty much just stopped traveling because we felt like we've been traveling for you know many years and we wanted something with a little bit more purpose in our traveling and so eventually we just wanted to stay at the garden which had that like traveling culture but you're stationary and you know we were able to invite a bunch of people from all across the world to come to the garden check it out so it was almost like traveling in itself because you know travelers were coming to you so it was pretty sick ain't she a beauty we have our raccoon stencils so we can Graffiti all across America. And that's what he looks like right there when he's on something. It's pretty cute, huh? If you want one on your house, your car, your anything on your forehead, we can do that for you. It moves. It moves there. Woof, woof. What is that, Maisie? Come in, super cool tri- No, it's a time lapse. I want to say tripod when I don't have a tripod. I'm using a box. Come in, super cool time lapse. I'm not realizing we have a lot of little things like this. Just random little knickknacks. They're not that useful to us right now, but they might be useful to someone else. Maybe we can make some trades. Here's a document that we were providing people to let them know about what the Permaculture Mutual Aid Network was all about. We're gonna try and find lands that wanted to be part of this network to help uh, with disaster relief so we could create 
little spaces and stuff. Which I guess we're gonna probably continue on this road trip, visit different communities. So my mom's house is kind of where we like usually reset. Usually once then we're on the road, we're like, why did we bring that? Or like, oh man, we totally should have brought that. So the choices we make now are very important, especially also because this is gonna be the longest trip we have ever done with the van. We've never taken it out west. We've literally been on the east coast for the past two years. Um, so this is huge. So this is our fabric bag. I don't know if it's really necessary. Tree was originally trying to do some kind of patchwork thing up here. Maybe he will complete that. I might. He might. So the fabric bag holds on. It's also cool for repairing clothes. Um, you know, I don't know, adding little touches to the van. I was thinking for the curtains and stuff. Or if like we want more stuff that matches the curtains, then we have it. I wonder how we, we should do this. That's our dried out kefir grains, which maybe one day we'll get back on our kefir game. I'd say, you know, just keep hanging on to it. <laughs> uh, I think we could ditch the magic bullet since our power situation is kind of messed up now and we don't use it anyways, right? Yeah, we don't really use it. Tree seems really sad about that. Yeah, because I just really have this idea that in my life I want smoothies every day, but I put no effort into ever really getting anything out for my life that I want. So it's just kind of like this ongoing battle. <laughs> Video's taking a sad turn. <laughs> but how we really just can't get anything right. But hey, we're doing okay. We're doing pretty good. I wonder though, like other people that live in Banff, if like, it just feels like we're always like, our setup is somehow falling apart or I don't know, but we're still doing it. If you live in a van, you can comment below. Tell me, do you feel like you can never get your life fully in order? Do you feel like you're always losing things in your van? You can't keep it clean and you're going insane and you never ever ex have exactly what you need? Cause we're getting better and better every time, but also worse and worse. But if you are really good at it, let us know why and how. Yeah. We try to be organized. I think we're just like the two least most organized people in the world, so there's really no hope for us. This is a cool purchase. Basically. Oh, that's, I was like, why are you doing stick that? Stick it onto the, uh, onto whatever, and it creates rainbows. I'll show you. Look. What are you doing, Maisie? This, look where the sun's coming in. Oh, hell yeah. And you see that whole rainbow vibe on the ground? Let's see. Oh yeah. My dad gifted us this electric bicycle, which we're super excited about. So he like won it. So it's like, he wasn't using it, so he gave it to us. Technically, it's like a downhill mountain bike. Either we're gonna get really into that, or maybe we're gonna sell it and get two electric bikes that we can ride, so that way when we like park the van somewhere, we can go around without wasting so much gas. Gas prices are up, you know how it is. And we can, uh, you know, be like little eco superstars with our little electric bicycles which would be cool. So this is the obvious issue with having a bike and a bike rack like this, is that a lot of our setup is, you know, prominently here at the back. And so to actually get access to that, we have to take this whole thing off. Of course, we'll get better at it over time, but right now, it looks like a treacherous task. Yeah, hopefully we'll get faster at that, uh, but it will be a thing. It's like, is it worth it or not? Once we take this thing on the road, we're kind of stuck with it, so we have to really figure out if it is worth it or not for us to have to do that every single time we're gonna go in the back. And so as you can see, we have some camping chairs, the stove, tool supplies, pull out kitchen. We're gonna take this all out so we can hoover the whole thing up. Here's another thing that I thought was really important when I was first getting ready to go on the van life thing was uh, I got all these Reflectix things for keeping our van like dark. Uh, and we just don't really use it. We kind of just got used to like if it's light out. I have like little curtains now for like keeping the light out of our faces and stuff. But um, it just wasn't worth it. The amount of storage space and the time it took to put them all up. We like ended up hardly doing it, so. Yeah, she getting the goods. Look, there's a couple.
hook with a dead bug in it. These guys are pretty invasive, huh? It's a good cup though. We'll be traveling with that guy. I'm just trying to wash this too, it gets so dirty. Nice clean floor. We've got all this stuff out here. We've got to get it back in here. But ultimately, we just got to really figure out what we want to keep and what we want to get rid of. But let's start with getting that guy back inside. Sliding it under there. Yeah. Like that. There you go, yep. Nice. That's good. The back is like a, a Jenga game. Or is it Jenga? Some kind of puzzle, I don't know. Oh, Tetris. Just found something to smoke in here. Now we're just left with a few bits and pieces, some tools when you figure out where you want to go, a light, some whiskey. <laughs> so it looks like we're definitely gonna have to do another day of sorting and organizing, but we did some great cleaning today. Got a little stuff, some stuff got rid of, some stuff added, so. Nice. And this is how it's looking right now. Excuse the lighting. As you can see, we got the carpet in. We got some of my friend's stuff here with the solar panel. Got some stuff to give away. It's all kind of looking pretty clean right now. We still got stuff to figure out what we want to keep, like in here and our electrical system place thing, and then this storage. And we've got this right here we've got to go through as well. I know that mess. But it's nice to know that we have a nice clean floor now. It's looking nice in here. The part of getting the whole van ready is figuring out if we want to actually keep this bike or not. Let's take this bike to a park so we can test it out. And amazingly, this is actually going to be my first time driving legally by myself because yesterday I just got my driving license. I passed my test and that is my first time leaving Julia, going on my own road now, baby. So far, so good. We made it! Oh, <laughs> this is one of my cars. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah, on. you too, man. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Good yeah, good. yeah, well, thanks. That was a nice guy. Because the bike guy who we just got the we got the one of the wheels fixed, he said that this is not a bike to drive on the on the on the on the road because you'll just wear it out in like a month. But he just told me that's not the case. It might just be like instead of two years, one year, which. For us, that would work. <laughs> yeah, we bit hydrated. I might die. <laughs> Woo! Wow, that was fun. I didn't want to go too crazy. So I've cut it short because I'm I kinda think like I was gonna get lost there. I have no idea what this trail is all about. And the signs, I don't know. It's like it seems like biking loops. You're going back and forth and back and forth, and it's about trying to create this like long stretch and make it as long as possible. Woo! I'm on the side of the road. So I didn't know where I was going at one point. I'm like, what the heck? But no, that was pretty cool. In reality, it's all about just trying to connect with nature, right? In the past, me and Julia we've hiked. You know, we've been farming, things like this. But this is just another amazing, great way, amazing, great way to connect with nature, but with a little bit of speed. And there may be a little element in this that might be kind of cool because I was seeing a lot of dead trees around. It could be a really fun way to forage because you could just keep riding. And then like every, you know, like 30 seconds, you see a really good looking stump that looks like it might have some mushrooms. Take a little stop. See what you got, you know, especially after some rain, you might find something really cool, really fun way to forage maybe. But yeah, I'm into it. Right here though, is a little tick, you little bitch tick. Screw you tick. Get out of me. Tick check.
Nice.